so today I have a very affordable watch on the channel. And again, this could be one of the most affordable watches that I have ever featured here on Watch Chris. This is a $38 watch shipped to your house and it is a regulator. It gets a pressed guilloche dial. I believe it might be plastic elements in there, but it actually looks really good. It has a Chrono Swiss sort of vibe to it, so it might be an homage to a brand like Chrono Swiss. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a really handsome $38 automatic regulator that I just recently bought off of eBay for $38. Okay, this is an automatic watch. It costs $32.95 on eBay right now. It's a regulator, and I have to say it is pretty good looking. It's sort of an homage to brands like Chrono Swiss, which make very, I guess, complicated, I guess you would call them complicated watches. They make watches with power reserves. Uh, obviously, they are pretty famous for making regulator watches. So this has a pretty layered dial. I will do close-ups of this dial so you can see what I'm talking about. It has sort of a figure eight, right? That's how a lot of regulators are set up. This is raised off of the case. So it's actually applied to the case. I would imagine that is made out of plastic. However, I do not know the answer to that. And I would only know that by taking apart the watch. And then there's sort of a guilloche pattern. And I would imagine that is pressed. That sits on top of what is the dial. And then there is a minute track. It says automatic and that's sort of raised off of that pattern. And then it says the name of the brand. Now the name of the brand is Forcening. Now, I don't know if I am saying that correctly. I actually looked up the name to see if there's a meaning behind it. However, I could not find anything. So it's spelt F-O-R-S-I-N-I-N-G. It sounds like the Forcening Awakes or something like that, you know, like a Star Wars movie. Or, uh, you know, there's two guys sitting in prison and one turns to the other and says, what are you in for? The other one says, uh, Forcening. I, I don't know. I have no idea what that actually means, and I don't know where they actually came up with the name. But this is a functioning regulator. So essentially, the way that a regulator works, it's very simple. All of the functions of the watch are separated out. So you have seconds here. They actually mark it seconds. Up here, you have the hours, and then you have a central minute hand. That's it. Pretty cool. It looks like a stainless steel case. However, when you flip it over, uh, it says stainless steel case back. So I don't know if that means that the entire case is not stainless steel. It must be a chrome plated case, maybe uh, some sort of composite metal that they use. Uh, however, it is a stainless steel case back and this is a piece of mineral glass. I believe the front is a mineral glass as well. Now, with that being said, it is $32. You could buy watches from brands like Timex that cost up to $100 that get chrome plated cases. So the fact that this has a chrome plated case and it costs $32, that is not a problem. You actually have a little bit of a decorated rotor on here, which is kind of cool. I believe this is a seagull movement, maybe. I'm not sure which one. It could be a, another brand that I am not aware of. Uh, however, it's not obviously decorated. It's a cheap movement. But what do you expect for $32? Now, this shipped with taxes came out to $38 to my door here in New York. So obviously it comes from somewhere in China and it is delivered to your door for that price. I'm going to do quick measurements. Like I said, I'll do plenty of close-ups of the dial because I think that's really important. I think if someone saw this watch on your wrist, they would not think it's a $32 watch. I don't think they would think it's a $100 watch. I think this looks like a $500 watch and I'm not making that up. I don't think it feels like a $500 watch. It definitely feels like a cheaper watch because it's a little bit light when compared to the size of the watch, but it definitely looks like a way more expensive watch than it actually is, especially because of the details that are on the dial. It looks really good. The hands are in a blue color. They're 
coated blue, obviously not heat blue, so not that bad. And then you have a rubber strap, I'll show you that in just a second. But quickly, the measurements on here, this is a 42 millimeter watch, essentially what this is. And thickness on here, this is an automatic, and it is a regulator, and there's a lot of depth to that dial, so 13.7 millimeters, it kind of makes sense. And then the crown, which is signed, by the way, with the forcing logo, I don't know what the hell that is, but uh, around 5.9, six millimeter crown. And then the lug to lug here is just about 50 millimeters. So it wears on the larger side. I would not say it's a large watch, uh, but oddly enough, they didn't put a polished buckle, even though the entire case is polished, they decided to go with a pressed brushed buckle or bead blasted buckle, uh, which doesn't make all that much sense. But here's the strap. It's just a plain rubber strap that is black and white. And that goes with the dial. Now they made this in a bunch of different colors. If you go on eBay right now, uh, they have a bunch of different brands uh, or excuse me, sellers selling this watch and they have them in a bunch of different colors. So they have an orange, red, blue, black, and everything in between. So you could definitely find this in any color that you want and you can get it for around $32 to around $42 is what they're selling it depending on the seller that you go to. I just looked this up and I found the cheapest seller selling it and I ordered one and here it is. Pretty damn cool. I really do think this is a good looking watch for that price. The crown when you pull it out a little bit wobbly but not too bad. Uh, and it actually winds pretty decently. You could hear it. Um, I wouldn't say it grinds. It doesn't feel like it's grinding. It actually winds pretty well. Uh, and it does hand wind the movement. So there you go. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I can't make that many complaints about it. It doesn't hack. That's probably uh, one complaint for $32, though. I can't complain about that. So yeah, I take that back, not a complaint. Anyway, very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist and then we will wrap up the video because this does not have loom. Uh, I'll show it to you on my seven and a half inch wrist and we will wrap it up. So today I have on one of my favorite watches that I do not wear enough. This is a Romain Jerome. Now, I've said this every time I showed this watch on my channel in the past. I'm not a fan of Romain Jerome specifically. However, I'm a very big fan of this watch because of who actually made it. So the people who made this watch make uh, a lot of the MBNF watches. And I think that these watches basically made by the same team as MBNF at Gem 5 and a whole bunch of other horological machines and uh, legacy machines. However, uh, these were under the wrong moniker, under the wrong name. So people did not like them. And I think that sucks because uh, they are fantastic watches. This actually has a very soft, comfortable strap. It goes on really well. Uh, and when you get this watch on your wrist, I mean, look at that. I think it looks great. Even the strap choice with the white through the strap itself, it looks really good. I mean, you put this on a decent leather strap. Uh, obviously any leather strap that you put it on will cost more than the actual watch, which is really crazy when you think about it, but this is cool. You do have two screws holding in the seconds area. So there's a lot of little details on the dial that for $32, you would not expect. In fact, like I said, if I had told you this was a $500 watch, you probably would have believed me. Of course, when I told you the name was Fortsening, you would have started questioning things. But with that being said, $32 is what this costs. So uh, that doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the name Forcening? Uh, I gave you two scenarios of how I think you should use that word, but uh, tell me what you think. How should you use the word Forcening? Uh, is it a word? Is it a name? I have no idea. Uh, forcening? Forcening? I don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> I'd like to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? And please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. And that's really it. Thank you for logging on. I will catch you in the next video.